Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, we're back, uh, with our ship going to Minimus, which in fact I think is right there, we're just seeing it, it's going to go behind, uh, the horizon of Kerbin in just a second here. Uh, but we have a little under 13 minutes until our burn, and there goes Minimus now. Um, I just loaded this save, so obviously it doesn't have our estimated burn, but uh, we'll do a uh, like a test burn at maybe uh, 50 seconds to go. It should only be like a minute long burn, I think. So that would mean uh, something like burning from 30 seconds before until 30 seconds after. Um, We're here, and we're just coming around to uh, our burn, and as you can see, Minmus is over here right now, but uh, we'll do our burn, and there's a tiny correction here, and it's not showing us reaching Minmus, but I'll play with this, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're, we're going to intercept Minmus fine. Uh, so, I'm going to fast forward a bit here. And we got something we're passing by. Some debris. And uh, we're in the sun again. Got uh, about three and a half minutes from now until the burn. See, we're charging up our batteries. And we're just about at two minutes. I'm going to stop here and uh, turn on our SAS. And uh, I'm going to say face prograde. Uh, that should be close to our target. And then from there, I will uh, fine tune us. Let's see the sun, Kerbin. This is taking a bit longer than I had wanted, so let's turn on RCS to help out. Don't want to use up too much. Um, That's pretty close to the target. We got 50 seconds. I'm gonna quickly pulse the engines. 26 seconds of burn. Um, <laughs> uh, that means we should start maybe about 14 seconds or so. And uh, we're really drifting off our target here. All right, we're at 22 seconds, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Let's go. All right, we're right on target right now. Uh, looks like we should have some fuel left when we finish this burn. We should be ideal. Four, three, two, and I am now 
just gonna tap the engines on ever so lightly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Basically perfect. <clears throat> Alright, and there is our intercept. It's not a real close one, but it's a very low energy. Uh, we just need a, uh, another. 10 meters per second. Alright. Um, let's get lined up for that burn. Don't want to use too much monopropellant. But... Uh, We do need to turn here. Want to save the monopropellant? Why are we? All right. Uh, I was going to say why are we slowing down, but we are going further out. So yes, we will be slowing down. <laughs> All right. There is the target. It's basically uh, vertical. That is just a tiny, tiny burn. Alright, that is... Well, I was going to say that's mostly lined up, but kind of overshot it a bit. I really got to get crew trained up so they can uh, handle pointing at a uh, particular target or direction. That's pretty close. We can turn off RCS. Turn on SAS. And... Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, let's warp to next maneuver if I can actually get it to, uh, there we go. So we're warping out here. Uh, we're 50 seconds away, and again, this is going to be a teeny tiny burn. I'm not even sure how I did that slight of a burn last time, but uh, we're going to attempt it again. And really, it I don't need to be right on here. I can just go when we're kind of lined up with the target the best because it doesn't really that much matter. We're such a tiny burn. Alright, well, we have an encounter. It's a really high encounter. It's an encounter for only three hours. But that's okay. <laughs> we just need to get there and uh, slow down once we're there. How do I. Uh... to 
be on that blue line. And warp it there. Um, I'm not sure. Well, there's Kerbin. Mimis should be somewhere. Well, yeah, it should be somewhere. <laughs> I just don't see it. Probably still a ways away from it. <laughs> okay, looks like... The way we're coming in, we're going to be in a polar orbit, which actually isn't that bad. And um, this should be above the sun. There it is. It is above the sun from our point of view. And we still have a whole day. So there is Minmus. Our solar panels facing the sun, or at least one of them. <laughs> Here you go, that's a bit quicker. So we're coming in from under Minmus. Should encounter it. There we go. So we're kind of passing under Minmus in sort of this direction. And we need to, or we want to, slow down to get into an orbit. Something like that. And we probably want to be a little closer than 90. 40 should be okay. Once we are in orbit, we need to locate. Uh, we need to locate. Um. No, not Chad C. Kerman. We need to locate Barbel and her craft. But let's uh, let's get ready. So this is going to be another relatively short burn, which is nice. Is turning here again so we can uh, be ready for this burn before we get there. We should have enough fuel for this. I can just say uh, point retrograde because that's exactly what we want to do. Now we're using up some power, but as soon as we stop actively maneuvering using our uh, uh, what is it called? Well, that's not what I wanted. Our reaction wheels? Yeah. They they basically use electricity to spin up gyroscopes, and the torque causes us to uh, rotate. So as soon as we stop using those gyroscopes, uh, we 
we should be uh, charging quicker than we're using charge. Alright, we are coming back. Hopefully we don't overshoot again, but I'm not that confident. <laughs> I think it might overshoot a little again. RCSU into position. Nope. And we're kind of close enough. I'm just gonna time warp here. We got an hour and a half until this burn. Actually, Let's uh, just say um, warp to next maneuver. There's Minmus. Here we are at our maneuver. And uh, it's about a five second burn. And uh, just over a minute. So I think I'm going to start at like 5 seconds and just like throttle up to half. So I'll take 10 seconds. That should allow me to uh, stop a little more accurately. So there's where we're trying to go. See we're charging up slowly. We're still using the SAS a bit to hold position. Uh, not enough that we're... Oh, we actually are draining our battery. I thought it was charging. Negative is charge. <laughs> Why is it even using it more? We're basically dead on. Oh well. Alright, let us go. Three, two, one... Burn. Is uh, 57. I want to be like 40, 39. That's great. I'm gonna add another maneuver here, which apparently is in two days where we circular, circularize our orbit. So we are going roughly the same distance. And that looks good. That's another 50 meter per second burn. Actually, our orbit is really slow right now. All right, um, let's, um, I believe we are going this way around, so if I click here, let's say, we have a warp here, it's like two days away, let's see, Minmus spinning there. Here we come around over the top. We're 15 minutes from our burn and 
and uh, we should be spinning around to retrograde. Meanwhile, we can. Uh, oh, there is Barbell's craft. If we are lucky. Uh, we should be able to get into this orbit and then plan a landing maneuver right here. Not sure how fast this rotates, but that's close enough that I don't think we want to go around an extra time. Uh, we just pretty much lucked out on that. Alright, we are rotating here, getting close to uh, retrograde again. Uh, we still have about 14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes into this burn. You see our target's a little off, but in the 14 minutes, the target should line up with retrograde. Of course, we overshoot it a bit. And uh, we'll be coming back. We should be coming back. Uh. That's the one thing I'm not entirely happy about SAS about. Uh, maybe they should have some advanced SES, but you can see like it's going to be pushing up full strength to bring this down almost until we're here you know back over it and only then does it basically start pushing in the other direction to slow down it really should start slowing down ahead of time uh, but maybe that would be like a, a an advanced SAS module or something like that you can see we're still full force up when we really should be slowing down because we're going to overshoot. Uh, so I'm holding down now. It's actually the up key, but you yeah. know. Still pass. If I let go, it's like, oh yeah, we're not that far off. No, you're still moving. You need to counteract that momentum. When we get uh, close to the X again, I am going to uh, just do a quick time warp just to stop our swing back and forth. And now it's pushing full force down. I let go of the controls. Really, at this point, it, it shouldn't be. It should be getting ready to slow down. Alright, I'm just going to time warp a little bit here. We're close enough. You know, I'm just going to go until about a minute. Four, three, two... One. And yeah, we're obviously off again, but we'll correct here. And uh, yeah, we're kind of above planet.
Alright, we've got about 30 seconds. And, uh, it doesn't actually matter if we're that close, so I'm just gonna fire up the engine very lightly. A little over, but uh, that's not too bad. It's 39 by 34, uh, which I think is pretty good. And we still have fuel. We still have quite, quite a lot of fuel. I haven't thought about it, but we can actually probably... Well, no, we, no, we can't. <laughs> um, can't put the gears out with... Eh, maybe I can. Can put the gears out. Not going to be able to land on the gear. <laughs> Let's put them back in. So there is Barbell's craft. Pretty close to our path. So if I had a maneuver here and uh, bring this in. Not on a flats, so uh, we're going to have a bit of a time estimating the height here. But I think that should not be too bad. It depends on how fast the planet's rotating, but we can adjust this left and right as needed. Um, it's going to be roughly half an orbit right now. And that's roughly a quarter of an orbit. So, depending on how far, if <laughs> I'm gonna time warp right now, and if that actually moves like a third of the way over, um, we should be good. We uh, to be safe. Keeps disappearing. There we go. If I say warp to next maneuver and then watch this. Well, we may actually even have to go the other way. Mm. Yeah. Barbell's going to be right under our path before we even do the maneuver. Alright, we have exactly one minute, um, so let's do some adjusting. We want to... I want to say... Something like that. <coughs> we now need to quickly line up for this. Just about 30 seconds to pull this off. Hmm. 
All right, seven, six, five, three. We are suborbital. And that looks pretty good for now. This is, I think, where we want to slow down and come straight down. And if we are guessing correctly, um, we want to be right above Barbel Kerman and her craft when we slow down. Um, I'm gonna time warp here manually. Got 10 minutes. Here comes our craft. Um, we may have overdone it a slight bit. Something like that. Uh, come on. Do I have RCS on? I do. Apparently hit time warp. Um, how how bad are we? Yeah, maneuver something like that. Move you out. Three, two, one, maneuver time. That's closer. That may not be too bad. I hope... Oh, here we go. That's our target. That... That will help. <laughs> so, according to this, we have a burn in 44 seconds. Let's turn off RCS. Let's turn on stability assist. I basically only want to kill my horizontal velocity, so we don't need to be pointing up in the sky. We just need to be at the correct angle, which appears to be 135 degrees. I'm going to start about Five seconds. Seven, six, five. Right. 
try. I think that was overdoing it a little bit. Turn off SAS. Basically wanted to chase this up to the top. We are slightly drifting, but it's actually not that bad. That's pretty much straight down. And we are pretty close to directly over our target. At this point, I just want to land close, and uh, we can worry about actual pickup later. If I can get within a kilometer, I would really, really like that. if I can target I have we want to be so we're not directly over so I can get our uh, retrograde directly at Barbel's craft and that would cause us to drift over to it um, something like that. A little bit of horizontal velocity, but I don't think it should be an issue. And we're not exactly on it, but uh, that's okay. Yes. Yeah, a bit more horizontal velocity. That should be good. We'll pick up some uh, vertical, which will kill off some of the horizontal. I just hope this isn't sloped too badly. It looks like it's sloped a bit because that looks like a valley. Alright, I can see rocks. We still have tons of fuel here. It's going a bit past. to run out of power here. So let's... Uh... Oh, that was the wrong way. And we're still going the wrong way. Uh, 
I'm going to toggle torque off before we completely run out of power. And at this point we can also turn off the lights. Uh, we're going to be using RCS, but you know, that's what we have it for. I just don't want to use all of it because I'm sure the actual maneuver to capture the craft on our hook is going to use quite a bit. <clears throat> Alright, there's the craft. It's a kilometer and a half away. Alright, well, we're within a kilometer. And, uh. What are we. We are actually spinning out of control. Um, we can actually use that as an estimate to the surface. So, um. That's not that great. We want to toggle torque back on. At this point, we're close enough that I just want to land. Um. We're nearly out of fuel. Now, we have 1,200, so that's not quite nearly, but, um... Yeah, stability assist, instead of, uh... Alright, we're going up. We're close enough. Um, Not exactly what I wanted to do, but we got those out of the way. Let's put the gear down. There they go. We're coming down. Be about 250 meters away. We're slowing down. Five, four, three. And there we are. Turn off RCS. Um, we'll use SAS to stabilize, of which we're running out of power. Um, let's reset it so it isn't pushing in any particular direction. No. Kilometer. This one's going further. That's, that's fine. Uh, we now have... 
Well, 3,200 units of fuel. Um, that's interesting. I expected the craft to be on the ground. <laughs> um, what if we turn off SAS completely? Alright, we are charging, uh, just not quickly. We have these little, and I suspect those... Why? Well, you're not... Can you block by shielding? Like this one, I can understand. Yeah, you're in the shadow. You should... Cannot deploy wall stowed. And that looks like it's going to crash. Well, that's just great. I thought you could extend and retract these multiple times. Um... Not doing that much good to us right now. Did I have... Okay, well... <laughs> that'll be something fun. We are getting power just really slowly. Um... Uh, what was this? Okay, world's first. Well, we've actually landed here already, but apparently 1.05 added something. Okay, well. Okay, I just switched to Barbel's craft, and... I really hope it doesn't explode, because I'm supposed to rescue it. Don't explode. Okay. That's good. It didn't explode. On top of that, it's even closer now. Well, this episode went a bit long, but uh, that's okay. Sometimes a long episode is nice. Bobble's craft is okay, and only about 150 meters away now. So that should be a even smaller hop, and somehow it's resting on its edge. Um. Can we push it over? Yes, we can. So that should be easier to pick up. And we'll get inside because... Well, I don't have any room, <laughs> actually. I had wanted to... Uh, Remember to put a hitchhiker canister, but uh, I actually never, never did. So let's board. That's not even a command pod, that's like a crew capsule. There should be four spots there. 149.6 meters. It's not bad. Um, next time, we'll... Make sure we get charged up. Uh, 
um, kind of hover over carefully, not leaning too far. And uh, we're going to try to pick it up. If I can only figure out <laughs> which direction that is. Um... We are further north and it actually looks like it's mostly we are 40 degrees east, 40 degrees west, it's 31 degrees west, so not degrees, minutes. Uh, 40 minutes west. So we should be further west. So we need to head mostly east. And a little north. I think. But that'll be for next time. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys then. Apparently, just putting Barbel in her craft counts as rescuing. Still gotta get the craft, though. Okay. <laughs>